Yeah, slow start to the game. Um, had a lot of power play opportunities that we didn't capitalize on as well. Um, so I credit the, the players for coming back in the third, you know, getting some big, big goals, timely goals, and uh, the second day in a row with a six on five goal. So that was huge. And um, unfortunately, we didn't have our focus for the full 65 minutes that we needed. Power play, what do you guys got to do to get, get that going? I'm sure over the, the break you toiled over that with ideas of what you can do to fix that? Well, I wasn't here, but I'm sure that they right. did. Um, I know they switched some things up, and, you know, it's a matter of getting one and building some confidence off of that. Um, but we can tweak some things, get some more movement, get some more shots from the point, try to get things going, traffic in front of the net. You know, it's not overly complicated, but it really takes a couple to build the confidence that you need on the power play because when you go up against a hard penalty kill, they're trying to outwork your top five. It's, uh, I think it's easier to penalty kill than it is to score power play goals. Um. Yeah. Maddie, your thoughts on her performance out there uh, today? Yeah, uh, the bookends, the beginning and the end, um, weren't good. Uh, but everything in between that was, was very good, I thought. Uh, she made some huge saves for us. Point blank shots, in tight. Um, so she kept us in the game and gave us a chance to win. So Really encouraging to see her bounce back from those two goals that she, she gave up early on there. I thought we might see another four goal first period like uh, the last time she was out. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, happy to see her work it out and uh, we're going to need her to play well and, and be able to come out and, and stop the first shot and be ready for a lot of pressure. So uh, I think overall it was a, a decent performance for her. Um, talk about your experience at the uh, under 18 world champ besides not getting much sleep right now before this game. your experience and helping Team USA get a gold medal. Yeah it was an amazing uh, amazing experience it was a, a long haul I was there from January 1st to the 16th as you guys know um, and, and to come away with gold at the end is amazing it's always an honor to uh, be able to represent your country and um, so I was thrilled to to do that and, and bring home gold. What's the biggest thing you learned uh, during that um, couple weeks with Team USA as a coach? Oh, wow, geez. Um, you know, we were down 2-0 against Canada in a, a unruly crowd of 5,500 Canadians. Um, and you talk about tough environments, that's a tough environment to play in and our kids never quit. And we came back and, you know, same message today, it just takes one. You know, you're down by two, you get one, it's a ball game. And you chip away at it and you got to play off momentum. When you get a goal, you got to try to get another one. And uh, uh, I think that that was the greatest piece of it, you know, going into overtime in that building. That's a stressful environment for players and coaches. And to get that goal was uh, unbelievable. Sydney Brown, how good did she look uh, in the tournament? Uh, she was great. She was great. First line center. Um, had some big goals, a power play goal and a shorthanded goal on the kill, which, uh, which I was really excited to see. So we'll, you guys will like her next year. Was it tough to adjust back uh, after having not a lot of time? prep for today? Uh, you know, it's been so much hockey. You know, it's hockey, hockey, hockey when you're working USA hockey camps. And uh, so I kind of just rolled right into it and was so happy to be back and be back in this locker room and, and see my players. And uh, I'm, I'm, I think it was a smooth transition. Happy to be back. Did you follow uh, your team when you were in Canada? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Live stats last weekend like a maniac when they were at Wisconsin. And uh, unfortunately, yesterday's game was sort of during our pregame stuff, so I couldn't watch that one as closely. But I, I spoke with uh, Laura quite often and, and had a lot of updates from the staff. So, so late in the game, they had, you had uh, consecutive timeouts there. I mean, what were you telling your players in that little huddle? Yeah, we've, we've got six on five faceoff plays that we've been repping since the beginning of the season. So, you know, had we not gotten the opportunity to take a timeout, they know what to do. But we, we set up one, they took a timeout, we changed it, it worked out for us. Um, but, you know, in those situations, you've got to expect a ton of pressure. I told them if we lose that draw, don't let them eat the puck on the wall. Get bodies in there and keep that thing moving. Get it up in our D hands and, and everybody go to net and let's hope for the best and cause chaos in front of the net. And they did. Demi, what did you see on that uh, game time goal that allowed you guys first OT? Um, it was great to come back. Uh, we worked hard to get there and get that goal. And it's just unfortunate that we couldn't take, we focus and get the next step in winning an OT. The, the tying goal there, just crashing well, the net. Is the that what is, got that puck through? Yep, our plan was Spencer to get 
get uh, traffic in front of the net and uh, get her two hands on the stick and get Barry one in and sometimes in that type of game that's how you get it done and that's what we did. So it's not like power play and then what needs to happen to, to get that going? Uh, we'll definitely be working on that. I think a lot of it's confidence. Um, just having confidence in each other and um, we're definitely capable and um, we're going to work on it, tighten it up and be ready for next weekend for sure. I know the end result isn't what you want, but to see the team, if you go down 3-1 late in the game to, to rally back like that, how encouraging is that? It's uh, really rewarding being able to be on a team that can do that. Um, definitely feels good in a sense, um, but that not having that win kind of, you know, it takes away from it, but we are proud that we are a team that can uh, come together and, you know, have some adversity and get it done. But, yeah, unfortunately, it didn't happen all the way through. They managed to block a lot of your guys' shots tonight. Is that frustrating for you guys? You're trying to get the puck in that. Yeah, of course. They did a really good job with that. Um, it is frustrating, but you know we gotta be take a little extra effort to find that lane and get the puck off and 